you have just laid out your reopening plan for Disney World to Florida officials starting July 11th, July 15th. For Epcot Center, a lot of the same things you're doing in Shanghai, face masks, temperature checks, social distancing. What makes you feel confident in the safety of this plan and what has been the reaction from officials so far? Well, we always said we would not open up again until we thought we could do so responsibly. We've got some learnings from Shanghai. We've got some learnings from our own Disney Springs retail and dining area that we opened up just a week ago. And uh, we've been able to make some learnings in terms of how you keep that social distancing. That is the key for us, keeping that six feet social distancing, no matter whether are people in restaurants, whether on Main Street, or whether they're in attractions. And we're confident that we can do that and open up responsibly. That said, Universal is planning to open up June 5th. Why a month later? Well, for us, we feel that this is the right time for us in July. Um, we've got a different situation, frankly, than Universal does because we're much bigger. We have a much more complex business. Uh, we've got a different labor situation. And at the same time, we're also going to be implementing a new reservation system for our guests. And it's going to take some time to take the millions of reservations that we've already got on the books and then switch that over to a new reservation system. So we think July is the right time for us. So let's talk about some of your learnings from Shanghai. You've been open there since May 11th. You've been doing these temperature checks. Are people actually showing up with fevers and getting turned away? Have you gotten to that 30% capacity yet? And when do you plan to go beyond that? Well, everything has gone extremely well at Shanghai. And I must compliment not only our cast, but I must compliment the guests for their cooperation during the whole thing because it really takes the chemistry between both groups in order to make this whole thing work with social distancing. And, uh, you know, so for us, the learning is that we've stuck to our limitations that we've placed on ourselves, and it's worked extremely well. We're up to about 20,000 guests now that we uh, take per day, and we're maintaining the social distancing guidelines that the government has placed upon us. And we believe that as those social distancing guidelines are relaxed or somehow changed, that we'll be able to actually grow with it and, uh, uh, and really please even more guests than we can today. So give us a rough sense of which resorts will be next and when. I know you've gotten the green light to open downtown Disney in California. What about Hong Kong, Tokyo, Paris, and, and Disneyland itself? Well, we've got no, res uh, no uh, uh, announcement that we're ready to make on those other uh, parks. As you know, they all are in areas with different situations, different situations in terms of the, the progress of the COVID-19 pandemic, but also different situations in terms of where the government sort of feels uh, they're at uh, in, in, in providing some level of assurances that uh, it's going to be responsible to open up. So we have to take our cues from each local government in each place. We always like to say at Disney that we're really just a citizen of the environments that we are operating in and we want to be a good citizen. And so we really do follow the lead of the local governments as our cue. And then we overlay what we believe is good common sense from a Disney standpoint. And that determines our opening date. Bob, uh, the Walt Disney Company prides itself in execution, often, fl often flawless execution of plans. It also, though, is a planner. You make long-term strategic plans. As you look at the world in this post-pandemic world, has uh, it changed your emphasis on different of your assets? You have a wonderful group of assets, but many of them were based on people getting together, whether it's sporting events or it's movie theaters or it's theme parks or it's cruise ships. I think, I think over time, some of the fears that people have and their you know warranted fears about getting together in big groups will eventually dissipate but it's going to dissipate on the function of trust and there's not many companies in the world that are trusted as much as the Walt Disney Company but it's a trust that we will not in any way violate and so Disney opens up a little later than others. We open up with not as many people inside our parks, but we do that on purpose because we want to build that trust in this new environment. It's a new normal, and then take it from there. So baby steps every step of the way. No question about it. At the same time, as you allocate capital, and goodness knows your theme parks, your cruise ships have a lot of capital going against them, will you make some adjustments, almost a hedge against the future, in case it doesn't come back as robust as you might expect into other things, such as, for example, your streaming business, which is doing very well? 
Well, we at Disney are fortunate not just to have a broad base of businesses to fall back upon, but a broad group of properties, both in the sports area, as well as in movies, as well as theme parks, as well as in cruise ships, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we feel that we're very fortunate to sort of shift things around. In terms of capital allocation, everything that we can see long-term from our guest surveys tell us that Disney parks will be back, our guests will be back. People are really hesitant to cancel their reservations that already exist. So we think we're gonna have enough demand over time. Sure, there's gonna be some bumps along the way as we have limited capacity, but we've got enough horses in the game, if you will, that we can go ahead and shift things around in the meantime, but be in a really good position, a really strong position, emerge even stronger long-term than we are right now. Last quick question, Bob. You're planning to open Mulan in theaters July 24th. How do you expect that to go to plan? Um, and how do you expect it to be received in China? Well, we're bullish on uh, Mulan and uh, the film in itself, but also our ability to get it out in the marketplace at a time where, frankly, there's going to be a lot of uh, of peoples that are starved for entertainment and to be able to get out of the house. Now, it's up to our exhibitors to figure out exactly how they're going to plan right. that social distancing uh, right. in order to accommodate that. But we're bullish about our date uh, uh, yep. of July 24th, yep. and we're really optimistic of that even that yep. exhibition business right. is going to come back strong.